Hello guys, welcome back again to Drummers Academy and in this um, channel you get the best content of drumming, music, um, posting of covers and the rest everything related to music for you to be entertained and for you to be inspired so you are welcome to the right place and if this is your first time watching this video or coming to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you like and give me a like because i want to get a thousand likes on this particular video and make sure you don't forget to share and make sure you comment if you have any question that is dropping your bothering you drop it in the comment section below this video and you get your answers so today i'll be talking about this stuff today which is basically on how to hold the drumsticks properly some people or some drummers, um, some drummers, um, beginners, even advanced, don't even know how to hold the drumstick properly well. So I'm going to show you the right way to hold the drumstick very well because there are a lot of um, fault that I started, I had that fault too, and the teacher that taught me, I had to go back to the roots to learn how to hold the drumstick properly well, which helped me now. So I'm going to share with you the secret on the perfect way to hold the drumstick perfectly well. So watch this video to the end and you can rewatch it again so that you can see how I'm gonna do it for you to capture it. So let's go. Now this is my drumstick here. This is my drumstick here. And the way I hold the drumstick is very necessary. We have different types of um stick grip which we have the match grip I'm gonna to explain to you. We have the French grip, we have the American grip, we have the traditional grip. I'm going to break those things down for you to see then I'll show you how I hold the drumstick so that you will not miss it because sometimes you'll be playing with the, the drums and you will see the stick falls off your hands and it's not going to be okay people look at you and people playing with you might be angry with you so I'm going to stop that now so you can um, watch this video so if you are doing another thing now that you are watching this video stop that and watch this video to the end alright let's go so let's talk about the match grip the match grip is very necessary and very important, very simple. When you hear about the match grip, it's very simple. I never knew all those things until I went back to the learning. So the match grip is just like this. You hold the drumstick is face down. The match grip face down. The, the drum face down, which is just like this. Your palm face down. Let me show you. The palm face down like this. The match grip here. The palm face the face down. Oh, uh, that's it. That's the match grip. So the match grip. So the match grip is like this. It's like this, so stick. You see, I'm holding the stick. I'm holding the stick. I'm not doing like this, not like this. You're relaxed. You don't hold the drumstick too tight. That's a mistake many drummers make. A mistake many, many drummers make. They, don't, they hold the drumstick too tight. They don't hold the drumstick too tight. You release your hand like this place here. You see the way I'm holding the drumstick here. This is the side here. The drumstick here. That's it, that's the side. So if you're not seeing it, that's it. So you don't hold the drumstick like this. You don't hold the drumstick like this, that's an error. You don't hold the drumstick like this. So this is necessary for beginners and advanced drums. Yeah. So you don't hold the drumstick. This is the place for the drumstick. So that's when I said you should do like mm, match grip here. There's a match grip here. You can see the V, the V. Oh, not like this. But the match grip, this is the way. That's it. So you can play anything. You can play anything. So let's move to the next one, which is the French drip. As simple as that. Let's go there. You can see how it is. Match, match grip here. Then it comes like this, comes up. You have to maintain the way I hold the drumstick. You have to watch the way I hold the drumstick and maintain the way you hold it. Not like this. That was what I was doing before. Remember, let it not be too high, not too low, be moderate. Okay? The French grip comes up. Not too up like this. Like you see if you're squeezing something. Just like this. So watch this video. That's it. So let's go to the next one. We have the American grip. Now, in, let's look at this one. In between the match grip and the French grip, we have the American grip. American grip in the middle. That means like this. American grip is like this. And this is where I'll be going to very soon. I'll explain something. In between 
this is the match with face and faces palm faces and faces down the French then America. So you have to take your time. What this again? Match French America. Okay? So that's it. You have to know it. In between the match and the French. Alright, so what this video again for you to understand. Alright, so the next one we're talking about is the traditional grip. So we have a traditional grip which is very necessary. Most people don't use it. I use it a lot of the time, but I don't use it for solo. I never use it for solo before. But this is the traditional grip. The traditional grip is like this. The traditional grip. So if you are playing the power, they do with the traditional grip. It's like this.